Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel as I have gone back and forth several times about this big decision before hitting this record button. I mean, it is, by all accounts, a very important rank up for me because I have so many champions that I want to take eventually to rank 4 and then eventually of course rank 5 as 6 stars. These are champions that maybe I could actually ascend, by the way, it's also worth noting that I get to, uh, more energy help in about, I don't know, a second. We'll see. So, I usually use most of my champions for the arena. You can see this. Not a very exciting topic. Not a very popular topic. The arena is like pulling your teeth out. I get it. But when it comes to my rank 3 6 stars, there are so many that I want to take to rank 4. I just have to be patient. And the Red Guardian used to be at the top of that list for Omega Red, but as much as I love Omega Red, I don't really use him much anymore. I will on certain occasions during the specific event quest, like a Biohazard event quest month, where you really do benefit from using a mutant champion that can do the opposite of take bleed damage. In Omega's case, he's way better when he bleeds, which is why the full recoil masteries are so important. Um... I love Nebula. There's a bunch of defenders that could be much better at rank 4, from Awakened Bishop to Man-Thing to Terax to Mangog, even Iceman, Spider-Ham, Havoc, Shuri. And then, of course, you've got some offensive people I don't use much anymore, but still fun, like Apocalypse. There was a time where I thought Apocalypse was going to be one of my first rank 5s. He's still not rank 4. But in the grand scheme of things, let's take this Apocalypse, for example. the grand scheme of things, my advice is always use the people either that you use the most or, and this is a big or, or people that you can't really count on any other champion to do what they do. And that is why Apocalypse is in that category. But we're not going to use him today because it was actually down to Cable, speaking of Apocalypse, Cable and Toad. But the champ that got the most love from me, the champ that I am now a huge believer in, because I have not used him but a few times very effectively, and that one is Sig 200, is Void. So I'm going to do something kind of crazy. I'm going to tap that rank up. I'm going to bring myself back in. Sometimes you got to take your own advice. And YouTube, you help remind me of that. And I do appreciate that. A lot. And he's somebody that I put so many six stones into. He was one of the first people that I max sigged out. And it's true that he's not as popular as he used to be. But in certain Battlegrounds metas, and just when you need to reverse healing in general, he is still a Beyond God tier reverse healer. And when you take him to rank 4, he can be very annoying to fight. And I, um, I'm very cognizant of that. And I don't want to take that for granted, because he still is a bit of a Swiss Army knife, and I almost feel like... Kabam hasn't wanted to make another void since. And you might say, Prof, why are you doing this when you have a void that is now your newest somewhat dramatic drum roll? Your newest seven star. Because I believe Void is a true puzzle piece champion that really needs three different puzzle pieces. You need the champion, check. Then you need the Champion Awakened, uh, not check, and he's in a special crystal that I'm not going to open very often because I'm not doing war anymore. And then the third piece of this, of course, is Max Sig, of which we have seen zero uh, hints yet from Kabam that they're going to start putting into the economy of the game seven-star Awakening Gems or seven-star Six Stones. And keep in mind, it is Kabam tradition to have the first part of that tradition be in the special quest that can include at first 
it was the uh, Labyrinth of Legends, where we saw five star, six stones, and especially five star class based and generic Awakening gems. And in the Abyss of Legends, easy to forget for the first time, that's where we saw this the six star generic Awakening gem. Of which now, I own five of. Remember back then how big of a deal this Abyss Nexus Crystal Selector was? Now we got it free from Kabam Santa for being Paragon players last holiday. So, oh, how amazing it is to have the game evolve a couple years. So, I believe that this will be the next version of this for 7-star Awakening Gems and 7-star Six Stones. If Kabam is smart, they will do that. And that will push people to spend, and that will push people to go into new content, probably with their Aegon. And that's exciting, because most people don't use Aegon outside of that. So, yes, Void is now rank 4. I took my own advice. I appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.